Okay, hi everyone. I'm going to be highlighting my hair. I've done this previously and I'm going to do it subtle, sort of like ombre balayage style. What is this? So, I am first going to just comb it out and I'm just going to do the two upper layers and if I want to do anything more drastic I will do it in steps like like let's say in a month I'll do some more um, because I want to have like a sort of a caramel brown uh, caramel blonde like I have here in the front so I'm definitely gonna make sure I don't over process it and I can always redo it again so I have a friend who is a hairdresser and she explained to me to make very thin lines basically in the top top two layers of my hair so I'm going to kind of see what that's gonna be like I'm going to do it naturally um, I'm using all of legs also so this is the top layer which I am just going to I'm just doing it by myself. I'm going to start with a little bit, not too much. Blue bleach. I'll do 15 grams. Then I would have to add 30 developer. I have 20 developers, so 30 grams. I'm just going to be mixing that. I have this little bowl here. <laughs> so and first you have to mix that before you add the Olaplex. Olaplex protects the bonds in your hair so that it, it gets less damage which is pretty important to me as I already have finer hair I have a lot of hair but I have the, the individual strands are quite fine that's why it's also wavy and that's why it frizzes easily but actually one time a hairdresser fucked up my hair I said oh I want balayage, I want ombre she didn't do that at all she messed up, she did white ch I said like slightly sun-kissed, you know, not Nothing too drastic in color difference. She had white blobs in my hair. She did orange in my hair and she didn't fix it. I had to go back later to tell her, okay, like this really needs to be fixed. She was like, she put a brown, like a little bit of brown over it. And then I went home and had to fix it myself even more. Anyway, then I was like, okay, I paid 250 euro to get my hair wrecked. But my hair was actually fine. So thankfully. Then I need only one milliliter. Olaplex. Okay, I'm not going to do it. Like I'm going to start down below. I might do it freestyle with my hands. To be honest, I hate using the brush. Okay, like this, and then I wanna saturate the ends, and I will just wanna go upwards a little bit, so I, it fades out and it's not this like really insane kind of line kind of blunt cut off, like I don't want that. The thing is with my hair, it's like you don't easily look like skunky because it's so fine, it kind of mixes always, it kind of easily mixes anyway. So whenever I did highlights in the past, even when the hairdresser did it, At first you would see stripes when she's like kind of doing it and after and then go home and the stripes, everything blends and my hair just in general it just becomes blonder. Also in the hair salon she used foils and then put me under a heater and the clock went and she left me under for longer than the clock. <laughs> and um, I was just like what is she doing? After I've done all of it, the top layer, I'm leaving it in for 30 minutes. Well, less because I've been going a while then. So let's say 20 minutes. And after that, I'm rinsing it and then I'm going to apply Olaplex number 2. Leave it in for like 15 minutes. And then I'm going to like wash my hair. Just an under layer and I'm going to do that top layer. Cha, 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 cha. So, I already did one around my face, which is barely noticeable, <laughs> so I might do that later. Okay, I think this is 
what I'm starting with. I think you're fully saturated enough. You need them to be saturated because you don't want to be fucking blotchy. Let's see. It's very hard to show an accurate color, especially on a phone or on a camera if it's not natural lighting. See, it's so exaggerated a little bit, but it blended really nicely. It's the perfect color, I think, that I really wanted. Um, so yeah, now I just have to do under layers or... Hair looks really good also. See, it doesn't exaggerate the colors because it can do that. Of course, I'm trying to... I do not have any makeup on, by the way. So, don't compare this to me with makeup on. <laughs> but this is now the color. I think that's accurate as I see it now in the, in the viewfinder. So, <laughs> it's hard to show you, but it's very subtle. This is my natural color there this is my natural color it's kind of I have usually kind of like light brown dark blonde like this and this is they and the highlights are like really nicely blended through my hair so way better than the salon did it previously so i'm just gonna always do it myself 100 percent 